me par. Okay, so my definition of faithful and loyal is just us, okay? And the faithful part means I got your back, you got my back kind of deal. Loyal is the same, pretty much. You have my back, my loyalty is with you, and I expect yours to be, you know, with me also. As far as to the one you're with, same thing applies. Me and you, like you said, we together, we belong to each other, however you want to put it. Um, we belong together. I belong to the damn so. But nobody. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to stick to that. Um, but, you know, with the one that you're with, I'm expecting your loyalty to be with that person. Like if, if something's going on between you and your friend. Who are you going to side with, your friend or your man? Um, it depends on who's right and who's wrong. And see, that's, that's the kind of person I am. It's not a matter of who I'm more faithful to or feel obligated to. If you're wrong, you're just wrong in my books. Yeah. Man or our friend. If you're wrong, you're just wrong in my books. As I'm going to tell them, I say, my friends are done to me because I... Me aside with Una the rights. I ha I, my dude was mad at my best friend before. And it's like he wanted me to pick sides, and I'm not picking sides. No. I, I'm just like, okay, she, what she's saying is correct. Did you hear her? No, you know, she for some said, but that's the problem. You're not listening. Sometimes if you listen and close your mouth, you hear a lot. Like, you know, you know, somebody's just talking and you just hear them and talk or whatever, but you're not, like, literally receiving the message. Yep. And so I'm just like, be quiet and listen to what she's saying. I was siding with her, but at the same time, what she was saying is correct. Mary takes over here, so sorry. Um, well, what do you think? Did I, did I miss anything? No. We said the same thing, it's just different wordings. Yeah, I'm yeah. passionate about that loyal today. Even when it comes to my friends, I, I I have a loyalty thing, and if you now reciprocated, me me not say why I should continue to. I just understand. I understand. Um. <laughs> Look, I hope I did not hit any kind of nerves with anybody. King General, big up yourself. Everybody, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for what? Views, listeners, thanks for checking in. Thanks for my juice. I'm still mad, but I appreciate it. No problem. I made some mango, strawberry, and pineapple juice this morning. I got up early, and I... um raid my fruits. Everybody in my house think I'm nuts. Why? Because I was making a whole lot of noise in the kitchen at 6 o'clock in the morning. Oh. <laughs> See, that stuff like that don't bother me. As long as I know I got a, a, a cup after, I don't care. I drank it all to myself. Oh, so you know, that's when we have an issue. They're not gonna drink it, so... Well, see, then that's different. I made a whole bottle and took it to work and drank it all day and i told him i said i'm gonna make some more in the morning so i started to pray my you know the rest of my stuff earlier mm -hmm. so in the morning it won't be so bad well I, my mother knows that i drink all of that lovely good stuff so if she make a bag of knives downstairs that's fine because i know once she's done i have a cup <sighs> my daughter sometimes will drink them but she didn't ask for any this morning so i drink it by myself they don't like when i make the spinach juice they're like why the green stuff because it's good for you i like my green juice i haven't made any lately but i love my green juice today was just all fruits ain't nothing wrong with that yeah. play some music give me a dead like oh. i'm not even gonna lie
Deserve the one on move too. <laughs> that vibrant is right when not not every vibrant pussy. Said not every girl supposed to get one and move. Exactly. And I agree. Yes, but some girl them deserve to get one and move. You have to understand that still and remember that. What, what I want to say right there, so bless up yourself, Spears. He just said bless up. Oh, I thought he was getting, chiming in. Got me ready for attack. Yeah. Some females do this do deserve to to get one on move because them act a certain type of weird. <laughs> so yes, I agree. But on the other hand, yes, I agree with Vibrate also. Not every gal deserves that. But you have some idiot one them who just like he says chat too fucking much. So yes, they deserve the get one on move. So, so you feel like some guys are to get one on move? Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I had to ask, guys. Oh, yeah. I had to ask. A lot of you, especially on a, on a West Indian man, yeah, man. I don't chat too much. They say Jamaican man don't cheat and don't chat. That's Who said them don't cheat? You have your bald-headed friend. There's enough Jamaican man them who say that they don't Which cheat. Which one of my bald-headed friend? I got a lot of them. 
No, the 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 ball headed one that I know that won't that that love to call everybody food. It won't stop till you answer. <laughs> <laughs> oh Jesus! Oh, yeah, Lord. but now that you know, now that I was said, yes. We can go back. No, sorry. Who seems too good to take one and move? I never think you'll take one and move. So we don't say breathe. Then we know you feel. Who seems too good to take one and move? I never think you'll take one and move. So we don't say breathe. LOL, if it's that kind of situation, then you get your guns If it's that type of situation, then yes, get yours and go. Okay, so space, since you want to chime in, what kind of situation? What kind of situation? Because sometimes um, these females will go into a situation, as I would call them, and they think everything good, if them and a man good or whatever, but if my plans for fun can go about fee business. So what kind of situation are you talking about? Okay, it's what a man up on the same page. But that's also up to the man to make sure he clarifies that. But a lot of them do not clarify. Yeah. Well, that's why they end up in the situations that they're in and they get themselves embarrassed and why them have to make songs like Side Chick. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I, I, I've said it before. I'm saying it again. I, I, you guys need to be up front. If it's a fuck thing, say it's a fuck thing. If it's like me as a suet I go. Be as I'm serious. You know, be up front about it. If you have a woman that's some say you have a woman that's woman that everybody wants beside you. You're right, and I agree with you. But some of them deserve it. I'm not a lie. I, I would never say a female deserve that. No, I'm sorry. I, or I say that because I see the the nonsense that some of these females put themselves through. I will give some of the guys credit. There is some guys out there that will be like, hey. I, this is only a sex thing. If you can't handle it, go along about your business. And and for those who have done that, I, I applaud you. You are probably the one percent. But I'm just saying there there's 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 people there is some guys still who do it. It's just some of the females they they think it's a game. They think it's a game. What you're saying, when the guy says that's all it is, and yeah. think it's a joke. And that they end up... But, okay, so here's my thing, though. If you're saying that it's just a fuck thing, why wipe her up in the meantime? Because I've seen that, where they're saying it's a fuck thing, and at the same time, it, you know, they're walk on hand in hand and whatever. She's catching feelings while you're still in the mind frame of we're just fucking. That's when they both have to be under on the understanding and agreement that, yo, this is a friends with benefits or fuck with benefits. There, there is those. You're in a situation ship. <laughs> there you go. You are in a situation ship. <laughs> what did Space say? He said, if it's at an agreement that we are just there for get yours off. Things change sometimes, though. What happens if you're in a situation ship? And let's use the man. We're not going to say the female because they're always putting on a female. But the man starts to fall and decides, well, Let's try this out. You're like, nah, nigga, we already agreed that this is what it is. What do you do then? You want me to tell you? No problem. Big up, my friend. Got a black one, cool and pretty. And the brown and that money has been. The 
burning man to bury it down And the black one man here pray So the two of them will kill for the cocky down So the two of them will us down to hell She not like a dog She not like a dog She not like a dog Oh, oh, he has his own file, huh? He has his own file. How many did she say? So have four. Four. I, 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 I have four. I think it's only four. Two of them are me, baby. Black one step in and pass. I was listening to this. Well, okay. Okay. You're here. She's not like a dog. And she's not like a night. Lad, my friend, check in. <laughs> Chris, what go on? What go on? Mr. Yawir, on gun. He said that's wrong to wife them up if it's just a sex thing. But but men do that a lot. Yeah. I know we say that it's wrong, but they do that a lot. And then they wonder why them find some mad woman. Because you tell her one thing and you do something else and then she start putting her feelings and her all into it. So at this point she done cross. Mm-hmm. So the minute you decide see I go talk to somebody else, she wanna kill you and the new chick. And the new chick now nothing for it. No. New chick now nothing for do with it, but that's what you guys do. Well, I'm not gonna say you guys, but so, some of the guys do. Be be upfront and clarify. But your losses and move thing. along. That's why I said they're in situationships. These are not relationships. Of you know, you're not in a committed relationship, well, and that person may be having situations with somebody else, and you might be having situations with somebody else. They might just like that space where at least they know that they're able to come together once in a while i need to check if i'm in a situation <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's how that works uh, i gotta clarify i'm gonna start sending out texts like what are we in hey I, i'm just I'm, if we I, say it like that y'all go walk <laughs> sometimes <laughs> But at least we know what we're getting ourselves into. Once you say what it is, we make the decision whether we want to be in a situationship or if we don't want to be in it. Versus you making a decision by not saying and just going along with whatever. True, but like I said, nine times out of ten, if you don't know if you're in a situationship, you're in a situationship. That means that we're probably in a one situation. If you don't know, <laughs> if you don't have clarification that you're in an actual relationship, you're in a situation. I do okay, but me and myself, before people come cuss me, yeah. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm letting our viewers know. Ladies, gentlemen, because it goes for guys and females. If you don't know your relationship status, you're not in a relationship. You're in a situation. Love. And once you're in a situation, shit, you have, as long as you don't have a crazy man or a crazy woman, all things go. What do you mean, all things go? If you're fun, good, we will come clean. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not true because you'll keep it a secret because you don't. You I was about to say, that's the main reason they keep it a secret because I'm like, them don't want you to go anywhere. Exactly. But to me, it's unfair. Yep. I'd stay put. Whatever, Chris. Mind yeah. everybody them too damn lie. Mm -hmm. I need to just be upfront to these females. If it's a fuck thing, it's a fuck. And thing. then you know them start talk about. Hey, but yet they hey, have uh, hey, them mad hey. over every blood clot, y'all dog. <laughs> Every blood clot, y'all. Hey. Shut up, like me. We know man. We know man over no man. Like me. We know man. We know man over no man. Come in. We know man over no man. We know man over no man. You know. 
about these situationships because people's feelings change especially based on things that y'all are doing over time whether it's even just spending too much time together if it's a situation ship if you see you want someone to feel lucky no <laughs> no the more i see you the more like you know you are likely to fall for the person all right, with i your... catch feelings all right but at the same time, if yeah, man, yeah, man. if you only see them like once a month, then then it's a fuck thing. It's, it's not a, it's, a relationship. Okay, and you're not in a situation either. What's the difference you're, between a fuck thing and a situation ship? A situation ship is somebody that you have that actual one person that you know that you're gonna go back to regardless. A fuck thing is you look, you take one and move. Or you have your, you fuck once a month. Or once every blue moon. So a situation ship, we could be cuddling every day. If you want to. Fuck that. Y'all can keep that <laughs> shit. If you want to. Keep that. I don't want no situation ship. Because I'm telling you, somebody's gonna fall for the next person. And then that's when it becomes a real fucked up ship. <laughs> hey. I'm sorry. I'm. I'm just. I'm letting. I'm letting everybody out here know from now. If we ever get into a situation, ship, you can't <laughs> get upset. You can't get vexed. You can't do none of that. Well, I'm letting people know I don't do situation ships. So you have your situation. You want your ship stay over there, so I do not dock. See, women just be wanting the wood <laughs> and kick him out after. That's that's a fucking move. Exactly. <laughs> That's not a situation ship. Situation ship, y'all might have sex, and then you might stay over his house, or he might stay over your house that night. If it's just a fuck ship, you take your fucking gun. I, like me said, on a keep on a situation ship <laughs> to on a self. I don't want those things. But one one Alfred, you have to be fair and let these ladies know that. If it's a situation ship. So that yes, yeah, so that they can ch choose and decide for themselves if that's something that they want to do. But some men, like he said, is not gonna say that because especially for good, they know why you're going away. And and my thing is, it's a situation ship. Why you worry about what me I go for? But here's also a thing: if you have a situation ship, you need to let your other, especially if you're doing it in the same community, which I hope you're not. Jesus, but. You know, you still have, you have some unruly man and woman. Who yeah, man, it. yeah, man. You're good. So, if you're going to do that, them send out. Yeah. What, what's the word? In your backyard. Yeah. Don't do it. Anything you have, they're going to do it on the other side. Please. 
And I say, and especially if you, you decide you want to be in a situation, ship, you can't do that because your next girl or whoever and them roll up in the same place together and them I look at each other like, but you know, I was just with him. No, we don't do that. And I, I'm, I'm, I'm the one, I'm going to be the one to tell you, messy people, you're right. Them have them on call. That's what a fuck ship is. But I'm going to tell you this, no. Me and no gal now nah fight. I'm I'm going to tell you this from right now because I'm not with the shits. I'm not with the shits, okay? <laughs> no, no, sir. No, look, I'm a girl. I want him. Let me tell you why. 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 Let me tell you Mentality, what mentality is that? Don't we're not gonna fight over no man. I'm I'm not into the whole bag of I'ma take your man because I believe in karma. And if it's not something that could have been could have been prevented, I should say, then I don't care. If it could have been prevented and I still went and did it, then yes. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm like that. If you can prevent it, just prevent it. And that's why I say be up front. Because when you're not up front, sometimes you end up in these situations that you did not ask for. And, and you know, so since you said that, me want to know um, one of these questions. It's kind of, kind of going with that. It said, would you rather bring another person in bed or would you cheat? So with these situationships. No, you... Hi, mommy. You hear these stories now. <laughs> he said, um, I know y'all spot the bad guys a mile away, so y'all safe. You're right. I lie. I always end up with some fuck niggas. <laughs> Excuse my French. Sometimes it just attract some fuck niggas. And then when you're like, bitch, did I really When like... you finally realize it, you're like. Right. You're like, did I really fall for that shit? Yeah. I've been there. I'm not even lying to you. I'm going to tell you straight up. I've done that. And I'm just like, this fuck nigga. Yes. That's why I'm going to start for all. I'm going to tell them, say, hey, can you pay my mortgage? And can you say, pay my bills? No, no, no. Can as soon as you ask me, they can't pay the mortgage, them, I turn, bitch, you can't stay then. Yeah, but, mm-mm. If me can't run it that easy by saying my mortgage and I need for time nowhere near me. And it's not necessarily that I want you to pay my mortgage. Right. And, and people don't understand that. People don't understand. I don't necessarily need it to pay it because I can't pay my mortgage. He said, oh, you, spend. Toya? Really? Yes, I have had encounters. Why is that so hard to believe? <laughs> Everybody knows I'm picky, but sometimes it's so damn picky you pick the wrong thing. You're right. <laughs> You're right. Yeah, it look all nice and pretty and thing on the outside, and then once you finally dig in on thing, you're like. I've seen somewhere I've like look at them kind of crazy, and later on down the line, I'm like, damn, I let that one go, you know. But it happens. I mean, I was talking, I act like all this gold and you know glitter over here. No, no. Well, you know I'm not anyway. <laughs> Anybody I watch, and I already know I plead the fifth. <laughs> We well, we, about money talk bulwark bullshit, and that's what I'm saying. All my guy friends are always tell me, I said, Toya, if the man can't help you out, where I keep him for? I'm gonna say, True, I'm saying, I don't need him, but just to know that if you did need him, that's what I'm saying. If I if I do need you, I need to know that you're able to be there and right. back me up. 
But I under understand on the next side, I understand the guys them also because you do have some of the females who that's all them want, which makes it bad for us females who don't want them for anything, but just wants to know that you know you can be there. Yeah. Like, hmm. <laughs> that's why I'm still for the market. Because the market is not a good place. No man, the market too expensive, <laughs> the bar. The market is way too expensive. So, cause what go on? Um, yes. Yeah, so, answer my question: Would you rather bring another person in the bed, or would you cheat? There's no, and there's no. Oh, I rather just leave them. I'm sorry. That's why I, I purposely. Well, as you seen on the post, there was no leave. But if you are forced, like. Oh, so so there, there's no like, leave button. Oh, I can't leave. No. <laughs> oh, so on that note, I'll be cheating on the ass. <laughs> yeah, there's there's no leaving because me and I bring nobody in my bed. Once you open, it's like Pandora's box, and once you open it, me I personally tell you a story. Can't okay, call people but I had a friend. Her and her man, you know, do them three some or whatever to each his own, right? And when the man got to work, she had bring the person over. Hell, when he, when she got, he might bring the person over. See, no. Me the fuck, See, no. No, that's where they definitely fucked up with. I'm telling you, I'm not inviting no next person in my bed. Yeah, I had a homegirl. <laughs> I have a homegirl. And they're into this polygamy thing. And I, I smell his friend. <laughs> Unfortunately, they don't know each other, and I don't want to introduce them. I, 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 mm -mm. But yeah, she's them sad, them sex talk. Yeah, we're having that call. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's called you need you need to warm up some, you know. You need to go find your situation <laughs> <laughs> just for the time being, cause it's cool. Exactly. So I'm not look, with so the next one. man joining in, so I'm not gonna cheat. The all right, it doesn't for all these for all the gentlemen. When, 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 when they say bring another person in the bed, it does not necessarily have to be a male because most guys will not do that. Exactly, I hope you won't do that. But most people would rather bring a female. I don't want nobody extra in my bed besides my pillow. Them. And even then, sometimes it's a bit much. Sometimes it's a bit much. That's what I said. Sometimes it's a bit. It's a bit much. My God, why you keep looking behind me like somebody behind me? What the fuck? How would somebody be behind you? You would Shit. see it. Don't do that. There's, there's, there's plenty of cameras for you to see. <laughs> you may be seeing some shit I can't see. No, I'm, I'm reading something that you're not, that you can't read right now. Cause I'd be mad. Yeah. Okay, so I will not look behind me because she says I'm gonna be pissed off. Yeah, not right now. We'll, okay. we'll wait till after we turn off the cameras. All right, guys, I'm, I'm gonna focus this way. That I don't get ticked off, but I, like I said, I'm I'm gonna have to cheat on you because I'm not bringing nobody in my bed. I just can't. Me cheat by you, me go ask somebody else and come back. So I mean, I don't know. I I could, I don't do the whole the cheating thing. You already know me. I'm a just. I'm a. If you, I'm gonna fuck on you. Wait, wait. But so you're not gonna cheat. You'd rather have somebody else in the bed. Here, listen, to, listen to the thing though. Yeah, I will have somebody else in the bed. Fuck that. Listen, it's called. I could go to Starship. Them have the the blow up dummies. <laughs> blow one of them bitches up. <laughs> but that's not a person. Yes, it is. That is not a. Yes, person. it is. They have. They have. That's the, a thing. They have not a person. Hey, some people are things. So you're trying to tell me since some people are things, some things are people? Yep. No, I beg to differ. And like I said, that is not a person, so yes, that does is. not count. Yes, it is. That's introducing you can, something you, extra in your you, bed. You can, almost um, like introducing a, um, a, a dildo. Um, no, it's called because these blow up. What these? They're these blow up people are. They have real titties, blow up titties, and and vagina feeling thingies. I was told. <laughs> So yeah, that's a, that's the next person. 
No, but as a, not as, doing that. But you mean as a living, breathing, a living, human breathing being? person, not a thing, a no. living, breathing person. Would you bring them in your bed? No. And that's what I'm saying. I will not. I like I said, it might sound wrong to say I'd rather cheat, but it's a one-on-one -on -one situation. Yes, yes, you. Those are. are the only situations I will go into. <laughs> the question is, would you rather bring another person in bed? Decisions by. Demand them. Oh crap. They say bring leaving. So hey, you're right. There is no leaving option. So space will bring another woman. Here's my thing. The, the, the fact that he has to ask me about a, a third person in being in bed, me go left him now. Me actually I go leave him. So don't ask me about anybody. One of our viewers say tatas. Tatas? Tatas. You can have all mine. <laughs> <laughs> No, but I'll gladly give away my ass and my hips and my thighs. I want to give these away so bad. I've been trying to like shrink these things here. These, they're not going nowhere. That I told him to call back, so I'm hoping that's the guess. Is that the guess? Give a number. And so. Hello. Hello. Good night. You're on the Empress Lounge. Good night. Good night. Well, How are you? You're on the Empress Lounge. Is this I our guest? <laughs> Is this LA? LA Lounge. Well, All right. All right. Hold on one second. Put him on mute for a beautiful, brief moment. All right. So, All right. our guest for tonight is LA Lodge. And um, he's a dancer artist from Jamaica. We're going to go ahead and introduce at least one of his tracks, and then we'll get to talk to L.A. and get to know a little bit about him. So go ahead. Yo, Joe Dogs. Kiki Nation. L.A. Lodge. Hey, and there we go, so then. And there we go, so Kiki Nation. No, a bit, a bit, a bit, a bit, a bit, a bit. Ever pussy ever run up like blood clot Mosquitoes on me a dog club in Watch your dead Come from this thing they shot Them not be dead Go free them just a pin a black man Them dead 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 Them dead
Okay, okay. So you're well rounded. You know, I I was just told very little about you. So I'm trying to get a little bit more information and so we can, you know. Um, where are you from? Where are you from? Um, I'm from Brooklyn, New York. Oh, okay, okay. I didn't hear that. Can you repeat that for me? Okay, when you say where I'm from, you're talking about in Jamaica or the States. You tell me. What do you want me to know? Okay, well, I'm based on Kingston. Okay. And I'm in the States, we live in a Brooklyn. Okay, okay. So how long have you been doing music? Well, I've been doing music around 2005. You know what I mean? Doing our own black light music from then and then start doing a real performance and recording in 2006. Have you always done dance all? Yeah. Okay. See, I ask because sometimes people tell me they started out in a different genre. And you know they get pulled to another genre, so it just had to. It started basically from church, and I mean, I did something, and this is a church, and we got a John Church group, and we got a um um youth fellowship called Rockfield, and we did a former group called TLDs, the Lord's Disciples. So we have people in Nigeria saying that the name of Christ and two other members, and he was by the DJ, so. I guess it's really sad, I'm not really in another genre, so this is the dust for it, yeah, at birth, and then, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll have a church no more back tonight, so we'll have a So wait, did you used to DJ too? There's a DJ in my church, yeah. So you had DJ, dancer, artist, just everything? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I like that, I like, I like a well-rounded, you know, artist that you, you can't necessarily put them in a box because you don't know what you're going to get. And let me ask you, are you an independent artist or are you signed to any kind of label? No, well, basically, we're some own company, one of the universal entertainment, and we're signed to the company. And that's, that's, that's where that is concerned our team with the Island Jumps, which is Sheryl and there's a little much on there. So we're not signed to the media here, but Definitely, I have to show, show, um, shout out Sharon and Alan Jams because that is who first introduced me to your music also. Um, have you worked with any artists? Are you, would, would you like to work with any other artists? Well, well I work with artists, but um, not collaborating. Not right now, we're currently working with Stephen Africa. He's the one that's in the first time Okay. But as far as collaborations, I collaborate with Rich Lane, um, Stan again, and a couple of, not, not any big names, but basically the upcoming artists as well. Okay. So let me ask you, all the places you've performed so far, where has been your favorite thus far? Of all the places that you've previously performed, which places has been your favorite thus far? Out of, out of all the places that I've been 
that you performed? You did all your performances? Yeah. Which one was your favorite? Well, yeah, you just did the hunter, number one, um, I had a fun event. And the reception was really great. And my recent performance was good as well. And in Queens, you know what I mean? We were in a very diverse environment. You know, just dance. No, I'm not going to go to dance all there. Okay. You said in December. All right, so oh. let, we're going to go ahead and introduce another song to them. I think the next one is Soliting Set. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about that before we we play that. Introduce it. Well, I'm trying to well, well, sort of sing the set. But basically, um, I have a discussion with um, Sharon and the team. And we're going to work on a mix um, an EP. And the EP basically is finished. I don't want to talk about the EP and we're okay then. But well, one of the songs with the introduce the EP. You know what I mean? So we have a team and producer come with a beat and material here and things like that. beat that we meet in, in, in Michigan, Jamaica, and then do some promotion or thing over there. So we're saying we should have a vibe and we have some walk on. Now my aunt is named Jacob because I was saying that 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 I was saying so the king said, so the king said, is there what I said? So yeah. we kind of want to have 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 to make money, you have to make to have 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 all right, go ahead and introduce the song and then we'll drop it for them and get some feedback. Go ahead. Well, I don't know. Helen and I see me, so I represent. Is that what I said? And we have the interview with the Tanya for the team. Check. So check to see if you like it and appreciate it. I want to be nice. Is that what I said? So I think it's set. Bye. Don't you look so mean. Light up is there. Yes, man. <laughs>
mad, mad, mad. All right. Well, okay. Yeah. I, I like that one. I like that one. You're getting some hearts over here, too. So tell the people how can they find L.A. Lodge. Well, definitely. If you guys missed that one, you can find him on Instagram and Facebook, LA Lodge. Also, Island Jams Entertainment. And of course, the other boss lady, Sharon, big up yourself. Yeah, definitely. All right. Well, it's great talking to you. I'm going to go ahead and, you know, introduce trees to them. And let's let's get them going. Trees. Thanks again for having me. It's a pleasure. Thank you. I'm still away from the drop. I'm still away from it. Yeah, I'm happy to hear it. All right. Later. All right. California, she may come in the door, but the jump in the town. Oh, you're slipping from the phone. Send a hundred pound. Come to the room, it's not a England, I'm a town. In a lie, sell it to blood. Hi Lucy, how are you? I'm gonna get up and 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 get